Hello again, we have a short video here again for our milling machines that we sell, the MM series, the 32L and the 25L CNC conversions that we do. Now what we can do is we can see here we have a identification mark on a spindle. Now what you do is when you're calibrating or using probing etc, you really need to make sure that everything is all lined up the same every time to compensate for run out etc. Now here we can see we have a reference um, tool. In fact this is an 8mm shaft which is a um, very accurate shaft so it's ground and we have to just set up. So basically this is the setup. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to move we'd have already set this up here be, uh, or previous and now what we're going to do is we're going to just push our reference block uh, up against that and then we're going to go in and look at the screen now. What we're going to go into probing and then we're going to go down here to calibration. Now in here you can see we have a couple of things to look at in the calibration and then we have just underneath here the 30 which is corresponds to 30 millimeters in this case and that's how far it's going to move up. Now this value is user defined and you'll have to set it up um, depending on the length of your your probe and also your reference tool that we're using here. So we've left it at 30, that should be fine and what we'll do is now we'll just tell it to calibrate. As you can see on the screen it says reference block in space in setup in position and we say yes. Then it's going to ask us the diameter of the tool or whatever we're using and we're going to say 8 for 8 millimeters. Then it's asking us to check clearance is correct at 30. That's just again, we like to do sanity checks. Um, so we're going to say OK for that. So basically it's going to move up. It's going to move back out of the way to give us a bit of clearance. And what we'll do now is we'll just undo this. Being careful not to let anything move. And what we'll do is we'll put in our 3D probe. Could have lifted it up, might have been better to have 40 mil to be honest on this occasion. But you can see the principle. Now what we're doing is we're still using this blue dot here. We're using the blue dot for the shaft reference for the spindle. And we're using the here, basically we're using this as our reference. So we're now going to assume that that's it, basically zero degrees. So what we're going to say is uh, it's asked us here, remove reference tool and insert probe, which we've just done. And it says, is the probe clear and ready to start? You can see that there's plenty the probe is higher than the material so we've got plenty of room again I think we could have gone a little bit higher it now comes along and it will touch off the surface just so it knows where it is and then it will go down five millimeters below the surface again that's um, what we've decided so it says is the probe in position ready to start? We can see it is, so we'll just say yes. It's now asking us to make sure the wire is pointing towards us, which we've done on when we put it in. And then we'll go now. Now this has been set up before. So what you can see now is it's come up and it's told, showed us on the screen that it's minus 1.45 for naught degrees and it's asking us on the screen to turn the probe 90 degrees. So we'll do that. Good thing is you can see is you have these little Allen screws here and we can use them as a kind of reference for 90 degrees. So we'll just set that up as best we can. Very important because we need to know the deflection for all the different uh, X, Y, plus and minus. So now we'll say yes again. It now measures itself. 
it comes in reasonably fast and then comes in slowly that's preset on the screen so we've done a hundred millimeters a minute fast and 20 millimeters slow you can change that um, now it's asking to again to turn it 180 degrees but you can see it's set up uh, minus uh, 0 0.138 millimeters that's the deflection so we'll now do it 180 and again we'll play enter this has saves us time in not having to use um, center guides and gauge rings etc and there we are so what we do now is now it's going to ask us to put it to 270 again we're always just using the probe I mean the, the more obviously you're doing this quite quickly the more accurate you do this the better the results will be Okay, now you can see basically here it is. We'll just now lift the Z axis out of the way. But you can see on the screen now that it's set up the deflection errors for X plus and minus and Y plus and minus, which equivalent to the 0 and 180 being Y and the 90 and the 270 being X. Now we can now, obviously, when we want to probe, which we'll show another video of, we will always probe with the reference so we will make sure the blue dot is always there and we'll also make sure that this connector here for the uh, probe is facing us that means we will always be consistent when we're doing it hopefully this is uh, clear and understanding so what we can do now obviously all we need to do then is just go back to return and then I'll bring us back to the probing page and of course we can go to program run and we can then start using it now we will do a separate video where went on the on how to probe it shows you um, a, a representation on the screen right now and we'll do a video shortly for that thank you very much